Hi everyone, it's Lon from Stripe TV and I'm here with members of California, Frankie Flav, Nabiki and Little Bob. How are you guys feeling today? Good. We uh, prepared pretty good for this. This caboose, my um my uncle right there, and I'm just playing. He's a really good um, old school uh, pioneer right here, loose caboose. But yeah, the breaking um, should be good. We feel ready for we it. We had like 12 protein shakes, five energy drinks, you know, so we're good. What do you guys think of having a jam in the middle of like a fit well like exhibition? It, it, it all, it's all relevant. It's all fitness of its own. It's a dance, you know, it's, a, it's an art form of dance, but yeah, it keeps you in shape. You have to eat the right foods. You got to become a certain way in order to keep dancing. Longevity, like if you're you're older, I'm 29. He's 21. That's eight years difference. He's in the game and he's really fresh. And me personally, I'm 29. I got maybe a good 10 years left. He has 30 years left, or something like that. I'm just being. And um, you know, for me, it's just based on eating good and eating dietary supplements, protein, and stuff like that. So. So what do you guys do to keep in shape? Like he just said, he like drinks protein shakes, exercises every day. Do you guys just dance or do you train? Um, like depending on the season of like training, like uh, I go to the gym every day and like do a lot of cardio, a lot like some light weight lifting, but really the bulk of my exercise is my dance, you know what I mean? Because we practice two to three hours a day, so it's pretty strenuous. It's like a mix of aerobic and you know like strength exercise in one, so it's good. It keeps us lean, so I think Dance is really one of the best alternatives to exercise. So what do you think is the most important exercise for B-Boys to do? Keep healthy. Yeah, Running, good. swimming, you know, like all this kind of basics, exercises. Right, so how long have you guys been breaking? I've been breaking 16 years. Nine years. Eight years. What got you guys into breaking? Uh, just family, staying out of like the streets of the ghetto and you know, just more having something to look forward to. So for me, just from family members and staying away from all the bad environments. So. Me and my big brother was dancing, and I just danced like he was doing, you know, and I keep dancing. Uh, I've always seen dance through like high school, like always the older kids did it, you know what I mean? So it was kind of like when you got to high school, you can kind of learn how to break and learn. So yeah, it was something I look forward to, and luckily I had the chance to learn from some guys. but. Breaking is a real hard dance to get into, you know what I mean? If you don't know someone of somebody else, there's no, there's not really a lot of studio classes and a lot of this is underground, so we just learn from ourselves and our friends, so self-taught dance, basically. What do you like think of all like the studios who are starting to like introduce breaking classes? It, it gives them an opportunity, well, it gives the dancers an opportunity to show their art form because we all have a basic fundamental we look up to and we, we go by. But yeah, it gives them a chance to like, you know, live off dance and you know, you know, it's great that Super Crew slash Jabberwockies and all these crews, you know, did the, you know, the dance, you know, the dance show, MTV dance show. So, you know, for us, it's just a big opportunity for other doors to open up for everybody else. And I know one of your members is from France, Nipiki's from France, right? How did you come over here? Uh, I've been in California since like maybe 2001. And, uh, in France, for me, it was all about competition. But when I moved to US, it was about like more jobs, you know, competitions, video clips, movies, shows. So they asked me to come to get more jobs and things like this. So I just came and I tried. You know, since like two years, I'm here, and really, it's good. You know. Now I noticed you guys were working on moves earlier. Can one of you show me a baby mill? Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is a windmill, and a windmill consists of spinning continuous. And so what he's doing is he putting, he's putting a, a, like a baby form into it. It's called a baby because you're crunched up in a ball. So that's pretty much a baby, and then after you, you put it together with the windmill, continuous backswing, so that's what it's called. And it's impossible for you to do it. Yeah, hey, hey. No. <laughs> because you gotta learn, you gotta learn, you know, baby steps, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you sit, then you crawl, then you walk. It's the same thing with breaking. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind. I'll find you like a month later and I'm gonna show you my baby mills, all right? Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you. Okay, that was California, guys. Uh, California Energetic, West Coast Rockers, please.